Let's say we want to transfer named ranges from one file to another. So for instance, if you take an example, we have six columns here. Column one has five values and it has a name given to this range, which is name one. We can refer here to the name manager. We can see here name one is sheet one A2 till A6. And the scope of this is workbook. Similarly, for name 2, name 3, name 4, name 5, we have the ranges and the scope is workbook. Name 6 is something different. It is the sixth column of this sheet and the scope is sheet 1 only. Similarly, we have two more ranges, which is name 7 and 8. One has scope workbook, second has scope sheet 2 and both have same references. Alright, now the problem statement is we want to copy some part of let's say content from this file to another one but the problem is that that content is using some of the ranges. So for us the problem is to copy or to move the named ranges from this file to another file. Okay, so that is a very tedious task you need to open the name manager of the first file, refer the range and then copy and paste in the new one. Okay, to make it simple, what we are doing here is we are creating a name exporter and importer. So you can see we can directly transfer names from one file to another. Let's first try to create a named exporter. So for that we'll use VBA. We create a module named as export names. Let's first try to iterate through all the names of this workbook. So for that I declare a variable dem nm as name and I use for each loop to iterate through all the names of this workbook. Let's print on console name dot name concatenate with its value. So we have all the names here on the left side and all the values or refer to values here on the right side. We can simply write this content to a text file also or maybe in some of the cells of Excel and easily use another piece of code to import the name ranges from that reference. In our example what we are doing is we are going to save it in a text file. So let us create a text file. So we have created a variable named as my file and my file is actually active workbook path which is the path where this workbook is saved and I concatenate it with the text file which I'm going to create which is a.txt and I've used this backslash just to uh, keep the path correct. Once we have the file name we can open the file using open my file for output because we are going to write to that so for output and we use alias as let's say one. Now instead of printing on console, what we can do is we can use write to that file by giving the index comma nm dot name and we can use the same thing that we have used above but for our reference instead of putting the column and spaces I use let's say a comma. So once we are done with writing, what we can do is we can close the text file using close colon 1. Let's run this piece of code and see what happens. So now instead of printing on console, what it would be doing is, it would be creating a text file and exporting all the names here in this text file. You can see name 1 is this reference. We have all 5 names which have scope workbook. 
Sixth one is having sheet one in front of it because it did not have scope as workbook, but it is specific to sheet one. Seventh one is again having scope of workbook. Eighth one has a scope of sheet two. That's why we are getting the name here. So in the same way, we can read these lines one by one if we want to inject these names to another file. We'll see that in our next video.